Well, she taught at one of the Tri-State's premier private schools until she posted a naked picture of herself online. It was the cover-up rather than the picture that got Jamie Climey into legal trouble. Yeah, today, she pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct. Nine on your side reporter Jay Warren is live in Westchester with the story. Jay. Oh, Jamie Climey was just trying to save her job. That's the opinion of the Butler County prosecutor. When the photo surfaced on a revenge porn website, she initially said that her phone had been stolen, but later told police that was not the case. The prosecutor had initially charged her with obstructing official business, but had since reduced that charge. Jamie Climey was in court today, where she pleaded guilty to the reduced charge of disorderly conduct. Butler County Prosecutor Mike Moser says that the social consequences are far worse than anything a judge could have handed down. She loses her job. She suffers the embarrassment. She knows now that this, as everybody should know, that these pictures are now in the ether and they're there forever. And uh, she has to deal with that. It was late last year when the nude photo of Climey was discovered on a revenge porn website. She later resigned from Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. Moser says that the cover-up is where the crime took place. The fact that she took or had these pictures of herself, however they were taken, and they end up on the Internet, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean criminal conduct. But when you lie about an incident and you claim criminal activity that isn't, then you subject the police departments to wasting resources. And frankly, uh, had it not been for the wasting of those resources, uh, the conduct in this case would probably be, as I would say, barely illegal. Now, Climey declined to comment for this story. She will serve two years probation. Jay Warren, not on your side, Westchester.